Now, with access to information, lack of knowledge and weak penalties have been cited as hindrances to implementing the Universal Access to Information Act 2005. The Constitution of the Republic of Uganda grants every citizen the right to access information in possession of the state or any other organ. Bernard Yiga has more in this report. In August this year, lawyer Hassan Kasim Malema Bidizi wrote to the non-government organizations NGO Bureau seeking all information regarding the recent suspension of 54 local NGOs of alleged non-compliance with the laws in reference to the NGO Act of 2016. In a letter addressed to the Executive Director of the NGO Bureau, Stephen Okero, Mabidis gave the Bureau up to 21 days to provide him with all the documents to prepare for both civil and criminal proceedings against the body. Because I think that was illegal. I think it amounted to infringement of human rights because civic organizations is part of our human rights, our right to associate. Now, when you wake up and close them without due justification, then you as the executive director personally or your bureau will be held liable. But now I need evidence to lay before court or if that look here, this people breach the law. The bureau failed to comply with the request, and Mabidis went to court. But again, to comply with that act and take them to the Chief Magistrate's Court of Mengo to compel them to give me the documents. But again, the first thing is to, for court to pronounce that it was illegal for them to fail to respond to me within the 21 days. Article 41 of the Constitution, Sections 3, 5, and 34 of the Access to Information Act 2005 grants every citizen a right to access information in possession of the state or any other organ. If you just see the news on, on UBC that today they have signed an agreement, today the Russians have come. Need they, the I need to see it with that. What did this Russian sign? Under the law, Mabiliza sued different government agencies for failing to access information, among which is Makerere University and the latest being Uganda National Oil Company Limited and National Pipeline Company Limited. Uh, may, maybe, I think Electoral Commission is the one which complied as uh, in, in, in a record time, uh, when I asked last year, when I asked for Chagulani's academic uh, nomination papers for Wachiso, even UNEB tried. When I asked for, for Chagulani's academic papers, even UNEB responded. I think within three days, uh, I think it was a maximum a week. They just told me, pay the 20, I paid, I filled the form, then they gave me the documents. But others have been adamant. Makere gave me Chagulani's papers, but after taking them to Mengo Court. Mabilizi cites corruption in public offices as one of the hindrances to implementing the Access to Information Act. And the reason why the entire world uh, puts emphasis on access to information is that's the only way you can fight corruption. Ign an ignorant population cannot fight corruption. In an interview with UBC TV, the Executive Director Africa Freedom of Information Centre Gilbert Sendugwa said the Access to Information Act, which was passed into law in 2005 and the regulations in 2011, is a good law if well respected. To empower citizens to hold officials accountable and to protect whistleblowers, among others. So the law therefore provides an important um, framework through which citizens can engage government for government to perform better. The problem that we have is that many officers do not respect the law. While speaking at a public dialogue to commemorate the 2021 International Day for Universal Access to Information, the Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya, called for post-legislative scrutiny of the law to check its relevance to the public. Of what benefit has it been to the ordinary person, this law? There are, serious, there are consequences for people who falsify records, who destroy records, who uh, hide records. But for an officer who is mandated to provide information when requested, when they don't do that, you know, uh, there hasn't been serious consequences. And this means that the law should be amended, either amended. Then, on the part of Ugandans, you, you, you continue applying for information. Every time you get a sense of doubt, you apply. apply. So let, I want that PS to have 50 applications for access to information. Let's keep on applying. You apply, apply, they refuse you to them. Then after some time they learn that actually, you see this is a culture which must grow in a democracy. That that information is our information. Benat Higa, UBC News.